For thousands of years, we've set off on adventure, discovering new worlds, greeting the unknown, discovering ourselves. In today's world, is true adventure even possible? I can't begin to explain why 40 years ago I built an ocean-going yacht in the middle of Africa and with absolutely no idea about how to sail, set off with my wife and a three-year-old daughter on a mad six-year-long ocean adventure that eventually covered nearly 35,000 miles. In that time, I fell in love with the ocean and the many moods of life afloat. I also began writing the story of the voyage, calling it The Trade Wind Gypsies. Unfortunately, I can't finish the book because the voyage isn't over. When we sold the yacht and returned to land to put my daughter through school and university, the book got pushed down the priority list and it's been there ever since. But now, 30 years later, things have changed. The sea is, by all accounts, under severe threat, stressed by overfishing, damaged by garbage, by acidification and pollution. How bad is it? I have no idea. But my last adventure is to go and find out and report back. The trip we plan is to St. Helena, the West Indies, through Panama, Easter Island and perhaps Hawaii, then a long and potentially dangerous passage deep in mid-ocean to Australia and New Zealand. We'll be looking particularly to see how things may have changed since the last time I was afloat some 30 years ago. And that's why we bought this yacht. My brother and I have bought it, we've equipped it, we're ready to go, and we want you to come with us. Join us for a first-hand view of life lived just a meter above sea level. And have no doubt, if climate change is having an effect, it won't all be plain sailing. I'm sure we'll find some marvels and beauties to share, but we do need your help in just one area. Why the money? Why do we need the money at all? Well, quite simply, it's because internet connectivity at sea is expensive. We have to be able to upstream the videos, get them onto YouTube so that we can have them downloaded to you on a weekly basis so that you can follow the voyage, see what we see, see some of the islands, see some of the extraordinary things that happen at sea, and we'd love to have you on board for company. Our part of the bargain? We'll record and upload a video on our progress every week for the two years we're afloat. They'll go onto YouTube and you'll get first access before anyone by at least a month. You can be a virtual trade wind gypsy. You'll also get a free copy of the Amazon Kindle book to download as soon as it's completed. It covers both the first voyage and this one around the world. Sound reasonable to you? I hope so. We'd love to see you on board. <laughs>